Hey, what's going on guys? Osric here, and it's been a while guys. I haven't posted a video in, in about, uh, it's been about two weeks. And as you know, it was my girl's birthday, I had Valentine's Day. It kind of sucks because I have, you know, Christmas, her birthday, Valentine's, all these crazy holidays. Then we have our anniversary, and uh, it gets kind of hectic around this time of year. So I decided to take a little bit of time off. I have been playing Call of Duty, and that's one of the things I've also really been focusing on is I've been trying to improve my game. See, I go through a lot of phases when I play. You know, I have these period of times where I really dig deep into the game and I just focus on playing by myself or playing with, you know, one other person, you know, whether it's most likely my friend, Scrub Killer. I've been playing with him for a really long time. And uh, I go through these phases where I just really focus on improving, learning spawns, learning traffic patterns, mastering the art of staying alive, which is, it is a strong art to have in your in your arsenal. I mean, if, if you understand how to stay alive, you're going to win much more gunfights. And no matter the level of competition that you're playing, it's going to really help you improve. So I really focused on that. These last two weeks, you know, I pulled out like 20 to 30 Moabs. I don't have an exact count, but I saved all of them. You know, I've been meaning to commentate over them. This is one of the games I had. I also prestige, guys, and I know I said I wasn't going to prestige, but when they came out with that whole thing about going up to 15, 20 prestiges, I said, you know what, I need to prestige, plus I'm getting bored, and I decided not to level up all the gold guns. You know, I wasn't going to go out and get all gold sniper rifles. It just takes too long. Plus, you know, it, it was just extremely boring to me camping back with a sniper rifle. I couldn't be aggressive with it, even if I could quick quick scope. I'm not, I don't have fun going... 25 and 20 25 and 30 you know dying all the time that's not my style i have a lot of fun staying alive and trying to go for moab so i said you know what let me just go ahead and prestige you know why not this is one of the games i had right before i prestige and hit first prestige i think i'm on uh on prestige number three actually it might, it's three or four i don't really know but yeah i've been prestiging a lot so that's one of the things i've been up to Leave a comment, man. What have you guys been up to? I know a lot of you guys, you know, this this is a real big holiday time, January, February. You know, hell, we're coming up on March. By the way, in March, uh, I think it's March 18th, I'm running the LA Marathon. So that's another thing I've been doing. I've been in, at the gym training. I've been outside running a lot. You know, it's been real, real busy. This actual gameplay that you guys are watching here, I picked this one out because this is the first fad gameplay that um, I wanted to upload on my channel. And, you know, it's, the reason I haven't uploaded any fad gameplay is because I don't like the assault rifle. In my own opinion, I think it's one of the bottom two, right there with the M16. M16 is worse, but it's, a, it's an okay assault rifle. None of the assault rifles are particularly bad, but it's, this doesn't stack up anywhere close to like a G36 Red Dot or a SCAR, you know, or an, AC, an ACR. Those guns are going to outshine this, this weapon almost every time. But if you are going to use this, I would recommend using it on a map like Lockdown, where there's a lot of close quarter environments, things like bootleg. Anywhere where you can use a submachine gun, but you don't want to use a submachine gun, I would recommend using the FAD, because it does have a really high fire rate. It does kill relatively fast up close. So, you know, maps like Village, I'm not going to tell you to go out and use this weapon, because you're going to get stomped by things like the Type 95, any uh, areas of the map where there's a lot of snipers, you're going to get outgunned. Which is why you see me tend to hang back towards this area. Now, if we, if we were in a position where we were competing for the B flag, obviously my strategy would change. But because I know there's, there's two spawn points right over to my left, one by the building uh, right in front of the A flag and also behind the A flag, I know that's where they're coming from. This is a really good area to hold down. You know, I, I think you guys have seen me do this in other videos, just not to this extent. And um, the main building you have to watch out for is the mannequin building. That's generally where I want to be because <laughs> there's a spawn right next to the mannequin building in the corner between mannequin and the A flag. And then they also spawn behind the A flag and come down the stairs right in front of the mannequin building. So. If you know that, you kind of want to just push in here, get a couple kills, and move move back a little bit. Because when you're in here, they're going to come looking for you. Like, for example, you know, I'm real close to my streak here. These guys know I'm in here. You know, I keep, I keep ducking and dodging. I'm coming in here, picking people off slowly. So they know I'm in this area, but because I'm not making myself vulnerable and because I'm playing a little smart, 
I'm trying to stay out of their line of sight and try to always stay unpredictable. These guys can't predict where I'm going to be. So they're going to come looking for me and I'm going to be in a completely opposite area than where they think I will be. You see right there, I get the Moab. I got a little assist from my boy Scrub Killer. I told him, you know, I was real close. Come over and hold down the, the right side real fast while I, while I get my kill streak. And look at that host migration, man. Stop leaving just because you got Moab. <laughs> but yeah, this is a good example of methodically picking apart the enemy. You know, you guys are going to see a lot of these type of videos, you know. It's just something to get out there for you guys. I know some of you guys enjoy the Moab streaks. You know, I personally don't really care about the actual gameplay. I'm more interested in how people put together their streaks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'm going to go and put two videos out before I took my little break that you guys might have missed. Be sure to check those out. Peace, guys.